Hey Virgos, how is it going? Happy June. If this is your first time checking out Trula Divine's channel, what is that? My name is Amy. If you're returning, welcome back. So this will be your reading from the 1st to the 16th. I've seen better readings, but I've seen worse readings. So you guys are kind of in the middle. Um, I kind of feel like there is definitely an imbalance of something. So there's definitely something happening in your world. So we're just, we'll get to that. I will start off your reading with the Oracle card. So this one says the key to prayer is to forget what I think I need. So when you're praying for things, remember to pray for the things that you guys already have. Don't start praying for, you know, God, please grant me, you know, a mansion or, you know, I don't know, a Mercedes unrealistic things. Um, I feel like kind of now is the time to pray for the things that you guys want. Or even pray for the things that you guys have. This could be a happy house. This could be your health. This could be a stable job a roof over your head. I just feel like when you get into those material things, when you get into that thinking that, you know, God, just let me win the lottery or just things like that. Like God has other things to be doing than granting you winning the lottery. Like how awesome would that be if that actually happened? But I mean, this is a time for girls where you need to count your blessings. That's what I feel um, when I see that card as well. So with that, we have the High Priest coming up for your reading. We have Three of Cups. You guys could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the Hangman, Six of Pentacles. So an Earth sign as well, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Same with the Seven of Pentacles. You'd be dealing with an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, with this Five of Swords. And also leading off with the Nine of Pentacles. So earth signs as well. So all over, it's pretty much all over the place for you guys. But I feel like you guys are in this place where you want to go out. You want to have fun. You want to let loose. You don't want to be... Um, stuck. It's like you want to go out and not be yourselves. You know, when you're doing the same routine all the time, when you're doing the same things day in and day out, you know, getting up, getting your kids ready, getting yourselves ready, going to work, taking the kids to school, coming home, cooking dinner. It's like the routine you're used to, right? So it's nice to be able to do something that makes us feel good. So I don't even know if that's getting a babysitter and being able to go out and have a little fun. But I feel like that's where this message is kind of going. This is a time to just let loose, you know, go out, do something that makes you feel good, Virgo. Because I feel like you guys have been stuck, stuck or sad or defeated or I don't know. You're just not yourselves. I feel like, yeah, see, I said stuck. The hangman is here. That's that stuck. That's that sacrificing. You guys have been sacrificing things, you know, restricting yourself from things, keeping you from um, moving forward. This could even be people, places, and things, right? Um, I just feel like you guys are in this place of, I'm not sure where this could go, so I'm not even going to bother to try. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it, so why bother? Why should I communicate? I'm not, they're too good for me or I'm not good enough for them. So why should I bother? That is the message that I'm feeling when it comes to you guys. Um, I don't know. Like you don't value yourself. You don't love yourself still. With everything that you guys have going on for yourselves, with everything that you guys have, I feel like, again, you guys don't value who you are. You don't love yourself. I feel like... Maybe this, maybe, maybe, wait.
maybe this is one of those times where you need to go see how someone else lives their life. And the reason I say that is because that's kind of what the Six of Pentacles, this represents charity, represents people who are less fortunate, represents others in needs. So if you're sitting there feeling sorry for yourself because you don't have this and that, and Emily has that, or Sarah has that, or Tim or Alex or whoever, you know, and you're sitting there feeling sorry because all you have is a roof over your head, a car to drive, you know, furniture. I think that you need to kind of go out, go out into the world and see what other people don't have. See how much you actually have that other people wish they had. Because that's where I feel like you Virgos are. You're always... I'm not going to say always, but I feel like you're, well, this person has this and that person has that, but I don't have what they have, you know, everyone's circumstances is different. You know, maybe they have that because they work their asses off for it. And why should they work their ass off and you just get handed it? That's where I'm kind of feeling what this message is going. For some of you, it's, you know, you want shit handed to you. You don't want to work hard for it. And maybe this could be some type of relationship where you think the other person should make all the work and, and you don't have to communicate anything. You don't have to. Um, so it's like one sided, right? You're you're on one side and they're on one side and it's like one sided. You know, no one's making the moves. Every, everything is stuck, right? <sighs> the positive that I see from this card is that you guys aren't overspending. You guys, your money situations, your financial, it's like it's secure. It's in balance. So it's not, you're not overindulging or overspending or anything like that. So that's good when it comes to that card. But again, like the message that I'm getting is that you guys are in this place where you're looking at what everyone else has and you're, it's like you're complaining you know, or you're sitting there thinking, how can I get that? But it's like, you don't want to put the work in, you know? So I don't know who that was for, but I feel like you guys are going through. Yeah, see, because we go to, we go to the five of swords. This is that lost, defeated, betrayed. This is some type of conflict that's coming through. You guys put yourselves into some type of situation and, um, you just feel defeated. You know, maybe you thought, oh, I'm going to win this war and you won it. And now you're like, oh, well, that's it. Like, you know, you're not really happy about the outcome. Whatever this situation is, you're kind of just like, well, I feel worse now than I went into it. I feel like this is your chance. This is your second chance with the seven of pentacles to walk away. This is that knocking down. This is that future. This is that um, reaching up and grabbing that one last branch. And this is your branch of happiness. This is your branch of success. This is your branch of new love, of new beginnings. And I feel like this is that now or never feeling. While you're sitting over here thinking about, you know, well, how come they have that and they have that and they have that and I have this? You know, everything's just passing you by. And then you're going to wake up. And you're going to be like, where, where did everything go? Virgos, you guys have to start, you know, start picking your battles. Stay away from those people who are gossiping too. That's the other things I'm hearing with that five of swords. There's a lot of people around you in your environment. You know, they're show talkers. They're people who like to search it because they got nothing else better to do. That's coming up around your energy too. Feel like you guys have reached this place where you know you've planted those stones or those seeds. And it's about just believing that whatever is going to grow from that is going to be wonderful. Whatever is going to grow from that is going to be what's worthy. But you got to believe in yourself. That's the other message coming through. Some of you just, you know what? You don't believe in yourself. You don't value yourself. You don't love yourself. You think that everything should be handed to you. And I'm sorry to be so blunt. But that is exactly what I feel when I read this reading is that you guys think that this person it could be a relationship as well, but this person who you really connect with, you really want, so maybe you walked away, maybe they walked away, but there is no communication between you guys. There's none. And you feel like they should be doing all of the work. They should be 
contacting you. And maybe, yes, maybe they should be sending you a message. But if you really want this, if you really want this person, if you really want this change, then you need to make some effort too. You need to let them know how you feel. You need to open up that line of communication. You need to get off your high horse and go out there and, you know, seek whatever it is that you guys want. Because there's things that have yet to be revealed with this high priestess. This is going out of your comfort zone, admitting that you were wrong, admitting that, you know what, I'm sorry I hurt you, but I'm ready. I'm ready for you to forgive me. I'm ready for this new beginning, this new path, this new journey. I'm ready to be open. I'm ready to be the person you need me to be. You know, I was scared then, but I'm not scared now because I know what it was like to live without you. That is kind of the message that are coming through. So I don't know who this, who this message was for. It was definitely a message for someone, guys. So this is your oracle card to end this reading off. It says, Dearest you, do you ever wonder whether your ideas and inspiration might be coming through your soul rather than generated from your mind alone? We are here to tell you. We are always whispering in your ear about your highest good. We are con conducts for spirit, letting you know you are living a channel for this awesome co-creative energy. When you're feeling inspired, it means you hurt us. Inspiration means spirit is breathing through you. Inspiration needs your human passion to keep it going so you can make a difference in the world. So keep moving on what inspires you. Let yourself be led into new experiences and know that this is why you are on the earth. Your purpose is to discover your spirit spirit nature and to bring forth through your efforts whatever is meant to be. Wondrous miracles have a way of showing up when you let inspiration propel you further. You are so loved. Sorry, that's what it looks like. So I feel like you just watch your energy too, guys. Watch how you come across. Watch how you interact with people for the first two weeks in June. You know, there's just, there's so many different messages right now, but... I mean, if, 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 if you really want this, if you really want this new relationship or this new job, the whole purpose of this whole reading for me was that you need to work on it. You need to fight for whatever it is that you guys want so that you guys will be ready for it. And when I, I'm going to backtrack a little bit, but if this shady person that you thought you had this connection with, if they're still have no communication with you and you are getting that uneasy feeling that maybe they're doing you wrong or maybe they have a third party situation, take yourselves out of it. You guys deserve better than that. Um, don't waste any more time because time is valuable, right? Let me know how this resonates. Hit me up in the comments. Subscribe, like if you haven't. Know I'm sending you all love and light for June. Um, all my information is down below if you would like a personal reading. Take care and I'll see you guys in July, or June, June 16th.